Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with part 3 of our Davide et Impera campaign playing as the Nervi. And in today's episode, the aim is probably to, um, well, maybe go after the Frisians if we get a chance. They seem to be uh, wanting a fight with this army on a, our border here. So we can't really deal with that. And uh, we're going to have to just deal with that. Our economy is looking pretty good, so we are building up a second army as we speak. We've got some uh, Axemen in here at the moment. Though we could do with some more food in our... Uh, in our surplus, basically. I mean, there is also this faction down here, Cenobum, uh, not Cenobum, what they call the Carnutes, which are be looking pretty aggressive towards some of our other Gallic friends, so we may uh, also go after them. I'm going to send my scout north um, back towards uh, the Frisians, but yeah, apart from that, we will uh, we'll see what happens. So, if you guys have been enjoying this Let's Play so far and you want to see more DVA at Impera, please do let me know uh, with a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It just shows that you guys are really enjoying it. And uh, so thank you so much for the support so far. If you haven't already and you want to, go and check out our Discord um, that is in the description. And you can join the Paper Legion and get to know, uh, well, get to know other people, Legionnaires, and uh, organize some battles and send in replays that could be then shown on the uh, channel. So anyway, we'll end the turn. And we will see what happens in the center. Whether the Frisians dare attack us or whether they, uh, they may just not even do anything. They may just be staring at us across the river, hoping that we make the first move. Which probably won't happen. I'm kind of wanting to sort out my uh, food. Well, it's not short shortage yet, but it's pretty low supply. So could do with some, uh, some extra food, some extra bread, some extra loaves of bread. As we go through all these factions, good god. We're going to have to cut down a few of these. I'm sure they will as, ter as time goes on. Uh, get fewer and fewer. And it looks like the Frisians are going to move away. They've had enough already. I look Probably because this faction up here has moved an army off as well. So they're probably going to have a fight somewhere. And we'll see who wins out of that. And um, we can then probably... Uh, well, I don't think we'll fight these guys because we have trade with them. But if the uh, Frisians start to lose that like, war, we can uh, certainly do something about that. Other parties... Uh, well, one of the other parties has organized a banquet in your capital, threatening your hegemony. To you. What did you do? I think we're going to attend. We won't boycott it. We'll attend, show up. Mission failed uh, to recruit a champion. And there's plague in Alibu. Okay, nearby. Well, if, that's fine. I don't need to know about their trade. Their trade, their plague. Um, yeah, it looks like food is still, still getting worse. That's not so good. Um, we could certainly do with... Providing support. I don't know if I'm going to build any more troops just yet. Um, I may hold off on that. I may also go for these guys down here, the Ubai. Yeah, they're not great fans of us either. It's these three factions here that are certainly haters, and they're at war with the boy. Yeah, maybe they might be a better choice to go after. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. It'll take a couple of turns to get there. Probably one more turn. So we could do that. I might send the army and put that into... Uh, well, hopefully they, they can't reach. If they're going for that settlement, they can't reach it next turn. I'm going to go this way around and position myself ready to attack that way. So there we go. We'll just get a little move on. And that'll take a couple of turns to get there. So that should be okay. Um, Let's see. Can we do any trade with anyone? I doubt it. I don't even know these people. The Massalia down here hate me and they don't even know me. They don't even know me. Um, no defensive line. I'm going to see if I can just keep uh, improving all my reputation with some of these people. Oh, well, these guys certainly like me. These guys really, really like me. I wouldn't know why. Oh, they are at war with Massalia, so I guess that's why Massalia hates me, just because I'm friends with their enemies. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if I can do anything. I'm going to... Well, how am, I, how am I on a faction-wise, actually? That's a point. Um, you can't really do anything. I, that's too amazing. Um, uh, factional mercenary. Oh, yeah, just have that then. Go on, then. Mercenary commander. It's faction-wide, so it's not actually just for her army. She can have it, I guess. Organized games. Uh, not so fussed about doing that. I mean, I do have... I mean, all of the... All of the families like me at the moment, so that's fine. We do just increasing the size of my family. Have some kids. 
but we'll end the turn and we'll see whether anything happens. The economy's taking a little bit of a hit, but not too massive. Um, it's like, but that's probably just because we've recruited a load of troops. Like I said, the food's still there. It's in the back of my mind being the key thing that we need to sort out. If anyone knows how to increase uh, the amount of food uh, production in this game, then that would really be helpful because I have not a clue what's why my food's so low. This is the first time I've ever really had a food problem in Rome 2. Probably has something to do with playing uh, Davide et Impera, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We will see. Maybe the Frisians will do something. Maybe that. Well, maybe we'll see if they uh, do. Um, basically, make a move for either us or the uh, the faction that's the Alibu up there. We will have a look. I don't really want to go too much further into Germania. It's not really my aim, but I mean, it's an easy expansion. Wouldn't be. I wouldn't be against. Certainly if it's a, a faction that's at war with a lot of other people. There we go. So, influence tribal... Okay, so they did get influence, but I did get a lot of loyalty. You win some, you lose some. It's kind of a... Uh, yeah, it was kind of a double-edged sword, that. Uh, faction rises, the Ereveski Confederation. Okay. Okay, and they haven't got a large army here. So we might be able to get hit them next turn. If we wanted to. Which I am quite tempted to. Um... House expands. Okay, I presume. I don't know. Is this I don't know if it's armies. Food production. Is there like a way to look at food? I'm sure there is. Food, food, food. No. This one. Is it just because it's got oh, importing food? Why are we importing food? What, well, this one's exporting food. That's no surprise, actually. Oh no, this one's definitely not in. This one's important food. Well, we're going to sort our food out in five turns time anyway. And this one... Oh, I don't know when we're sorting our food out there. <laughs> not for a long time. Um, well, we're going to try and get this food problem sorted anyway. Um, whether it will be sorted just yet, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, like, well, we need to keep expanding, keep growing. You're not far off a growth... Uh, accumulated growth one... I thought one of these places was very much near, very close to um, to growing, but maybe not. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, clearly, there's not enough growth going on in this part of the world, and it's very hard to grow. It would seem. It seems to just be having a problem with that. But I mean, these Germans—they don't seem like they'll be too much of a problem, too much of a hassle. We can get some felt out of there. That's another resource. That'll be very handy, actually. I don't know whether these... Hopefully these guys don't have a second um, settlement anywhere nearby. That's Because otherwise it could be a problem. They are at war with a lot of other people. So they may have... Their other army may have taken somewhere already. Um, but who knows. Also, it's kind of handy that we have these guys. Which are basically just the Swaby to our east. That are very friendly with us. Okay, these guys want very little money. Well, these two already hate me a lot, so I'm going to say yes for now. I mean, they are probably going to die. There you go, the Ubi have moved off, leaving the settlement very much free. We could definitely do that. I'll move my spy on to see. They're probably going down this road here, um, meaning that uh, they are probably uh, losing their war, possibly. I don't know. Well, they are fighting two different factions. They're fighting the boy, which are kind of a major faction in this uh, game, and also, well, in this part of the world, anyway. Is that my lot? Oh, it is... Well, what? That's... Oh no, these guys have got it. But also, apparently, I have plague. Or do I have plague or am I just... Because I'm in the... Wi I'm just stood here in the winter. Can I... Can I please move on? Apparently not. Well, let's have a look. Okay, well, we found their armies. I'm going to declare war on these guys. Okay, we found a full stack. 20 stack and a 20 stack. This will be fun. This is going to be interesting. I think, I mean, certainly this army, yeah, it's pretty trash. They've got lots of pikes. Got some cavalry there this time. We'll, we'll have to deal with them. Um, see whether the boy would... The boy will really like me now, I imagine, because I've done that. Um, yeah, moderate. Mm, they don't want money, but I'm taking that. I'll take the defensive alliance. Um, so we've got a lot of defensive allies. Actually, no, we only have one. I thought we had a defensive alliance, you, but maybe not. 
They don't. They're not so much fans of the boy, but yeah, I can see why. It, they probably don't like me making tra uh, de tree there yeah, deals with them. I would not be surprised. Um, like so, I just really want trade with you guys, but you don't have many any maybe anything to offer. I don't know. Um, I guess I just can't move very far in winter. Maybe clearly, maybe not. Uh, what's the garrison like? Oh, it's a twelve as well. Yeah, the tribesmen aren't great. Germanic warriors are pretty good, but they're not great either. Uh, we're up to three food now, so I guess clearly in winter we just have more food available. I don't know. Well, in the turn, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we have a fight with the uh, um, Ubai coming up. I mean, they had a nine stack. Was that a nine stack that they maybe just bought a load of uh, mercs? I don't know. I don't have a look. Maybe they are mercs. If so, then that's fine. So hope you guys are having great days. Oh my gosh, that yeah, the boy just like brought up another stack. These yeah, I'm glad I got an alliance with them. They are very strong. Um I don't know whether I want to attack the army first and then just take the settlement. I don't know. I might have to. But um yeah. I hope you guys are all having good days and uh working in school is treating you well and you're not getting too There we go. That's a fight. Um not getting a too overwhelmed with the life, I don't know. Um, right. Let's see. This, I mean, Bad's Power's saying it's not in our favour, but I reckon we have a pretty good chance. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield for our first fight with the Ubai and another Germanic tribe. See you guys in a minute. So on the plains of, well, Germania, I presume this is, um, it's all snowy. It's all very nice and snowy. I like it. I don't know where I was really going with that, but it's all very nice and snowy and uh, almost a bit Christmassy, even though we're in March now, so it's definitely not Christmas. Um, so anyway, we'll put our uh, missiles out front as usual. We'll make our main line of these light melee swords. Uh, then we'll have our spears on the flank, because we actually do have cavalry to worry about this time. And we have, well, well, actually that's it. That's all we have to worry about, cavalry. Everything else we've already overwhelmed more than once, so that's fine. Uh, we'll have our mer mercenary uh, berserkers in behind, and my general even further behind that. And there we go. Um, what's this? Oh, this is the cavalry. Oh, I didn't do anything with them. Oh, well, go over here. Apologies. There you go. Have that one. Go both there. So, the UI should be coming towards us because, well, they attacked us. I expect no less. These guys look just like every other Germanic faction we've. Well, like, just like the other Germanic faction, really. But they do look goddamn good. Yeah, let the gods be with you, I guess. I mean, they're not going to be because we're going to win. It's the Celtic gods that will win over the Germanic ones, even though we probably have very similar sort of gods. Bit worried about where that cav is. Well, I say that as I find it. Okay, these are a high threat apparently to me. Yeah, these are all high threat. Well, these are light melee and these are heavy. Well, these are heavy melee. They're medium melee, so I should really overwhelm them. I'm probably just going to bring my cavalry back, support them with the spears there. And I didn't realize that I was online. Oh, well. Um, there we go. A classic mistake to make. While we wait on these, uh, let's just speed this up a bit while we wait on them to march because they're taking flipping ever. Let's put our, um, we should actually have all our guys on skirmish mode just so we don't get caught out by this cab that's definitely going to come charging in. What is this? Little very light, okay. This is their other cavalry unit, I presume. Yeah, I think they have two of the same units, yeah, and they're splitting them, so that is fine. Look like they're going to just charge straight in. There we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Cavalry gonna charge in. Um, yeah, the archers are. I'm just keep an eye on the line, actually. You, get off. <laughs> there we go. Okay, the cavalry's about to engage. Yeah, we should overwhelm these guys. I might send the spears in. Yeah, I might actually send the spears in. And. I want to keep an eye on these guys. 
These guys are going to try and pull a fast one and get behind me. Come on, come on, come on. Um, right, plan is, um, actually, with everyone else, I don't know. Um, oh, we're already breaking stuff of theirs. What are we breaking? Oh, they're very light slingers. Uh, oh, are they slingers? No, missile in. We'll just missile infantry of some sort. Okay, right, just go in. Go in. Um, charge in there. Go in there. We just gotta overwhelm these guys. They're playing very narrow for some reason. And I'm surprised these guys haven't run yet, but they haven't. So, oh, we broke the cab before the spears even got there. Brilliant. Uh, this cavalry is very good, clearly, then. <laughs> There's no, no worry then at all. Um, this cab should really be breaking, like, anytime soon. Um, you can kind of just go in there. I'll probably send these swords to go and support that fight. Um, and then we'll send in these guys kind of just to fill up this line because that's looking very thin for us. We're holding back a lot of stuff there. But we should. Yeah, there comes the cavalry. And then we can use this spear to unit to just get behind. Actually, any available archers, please focus down these pikes. I forgot about these. They are going to need to be dealt with. Um, okay, these guys just have freed up. You charge in there. You keep charging in there. Come on. Over here, please. General, just get a bit closer. Maybe send up a rally in a bit. Any available ar uh, archers, shoot on these guys. There comes the pikes. That's not good. Um, you're going to need to get in here. Hurry up. Throw up a rally. Nothing's breaking just yet. That's good to see. Just keep focusing stuff down. Charge into the... Oh, actually, no. Don't charge head on. Don't charge. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't let them get down their spears quickly. Get in amongst them. Don't let them get down their pikes. Come on. Oh, that's good. We're very much amongst them now. That's going to cause some panic. They're not breaking yet, though. Not breaking. Not good enough. Um, a lot of stuff is returning for them, though. Right. Just um, Yeah, the spear should be able to deal with these guys now. What are they doing? How are they not broken yet? They're just... Ch like, come on. They're trying to get past to get these um, archers, obviously. I'm not going to let it happen. Uh, pull back. Guess we could go for some hammer and anvils. Oh, and certainly on these guys. Um, send in the... Come on. Send in the attack orders. These guys are just being a bit idle. The cab returned? What? I broke that cab, I thought. That cab's breaking. They'll get cut down. Well, certainly a bit better. Yeah, need the cab forces even like scared and scary now. Oh, brilliant general. Um, actually, no. You go over here. You're needed. Oh, the cab's gonna break before the slingers even hit them. Before they even hit the slingers. Jesus. Never a good sign. Well, all that infantry lines is broken. So the cab's just saved the day again, as it should. That's what it's paid to do. Um, just shoot all these guys now. There's no point having. Um, and she'll just chase him down. Cavalry are never gonna catch. Just go and kill the general. Go kill the general. Um, where do those cavalry go? Oh, they have broken properly. Um, just chase down these guys. Um, chase down. I, everyone, just go for the general. There's no. There's no easy way to get around it. Just kill the general. And then these guys can go over there. You might as well. Uh, just pop up one of these as well. Because why not? We have plenty to spare. What have they even got? They've just got like... That's... I don't know what they are. Like, they're just... They look like... They remind me of the Bastani. A bit. Their name, anyway. Bastanos. Salangas. I don't know. It's a weird name. I'm kind of wittering on here. Oh, uh, they're trying to go for my cab. They are trying to go for my cab. Let's get the cab out of there. Let's, uh, these pikes also. I mean, as long as much of this army gets away scot uh, as long as not much of this army gets away scot free, we should be okay. Like, these guys are returning. We can't have that. Let's just kill this general off as quickly as possible. He's not even looking the right way. He's going to get murdered. He is actually going to get murdered. I kind of want to feel for him, but I really, really just can't. Poor man. Poor, poor man. Oh, God. 
Some nasty beheadings going on in there. Uh, what are they fighting? Just kill these guys, come on. The cow has taken a bit of a beating here. Um, could do with actually supporting that. The general is breaking though. Uh, can all this just like go up here and possibly deal with them? I don't know. Just pop, just pop a rally as well, guys. Just there you go. Have a rally. Make yourself feel better. Are you winning or losing? It's actually... Yeah. The cab's doing pretty well. It's kind of just slowing these guys down. Oh, it is breaking now. It is breaking. Perfect, right. When they've actually properly broken, then I'll send some of these units off to go and deal with others. Yeah, there goes the general. Continue this. Um, you go over there. Chop these guys down. There we go. Perfect. Right, there we go, guys. I'll just speed this up. And... Get some kills and some experience for this cavalry, I guess. Surprise, it's only got one chevron. They have to do so much killing at the end of the battle. But I guess you don't get experience for just running down innocent men. Well, not they're not innocent, but... They are combatants in war. As much as my men are. But yeah, they're pretty beaten up. We definitely need to... Uh, well, let them rest. Let's get some more kills. There's 82 guys over there. I mean, there's a lot of them left. There's, because these units are so huge as well. We barely took any losses, so we should be okay. Like, only two melee units are probably... Cut, well, not even out of action. They're just a bit beaten up. Cav is okay. Probably is very reusable. And, yeah, we'll call that, we'll call that a battle. Quit battle. There we go. And, excellent. 500 kills for the cavalry there. The other one didn't do too shabby either. So, I will see you guys in a minute back on the campaign map. So, we're back on the campaign map, and we've defeated the army. We're probably just going to execute all their captives, because we don't want any of them to live. That's just not okay. And yet, they've raised another army up. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to deal with it myself. I could probably just sneak around and deal with, um, like, the settlement itself. And not certainly not with this army. I might have to fight this one, but that's fine. We're not, we've just fought a huge army. We could fight another one. There we go. And the uh, children of Morgane have leveled up. Oh, okay, our protection's ending and increased. We Well, ranks have gone up for everyone, it would seem. Everyone gets himself a rank. Um, we'll take um, pl the plunder as one there, so it helps with our... Oh, what's that help with, actually? Attritional loss when under siege and morale for all units. Nice. Um, I could upgrade this one. Actually, this could be pretty damn good. Military conscriptor, that's actually kind of handy. Why can I not go for this then? Can I just not reach? Yeah, apparently I just cut. Useless. Um, well, it looks like they're going to get there before me then. That's annoying. Unless I can just... Can they reach? Well... These are guys, well, they certainly will be able to reach, surely. Actually, apparently not. They're going to struggle to reach as well. Or is it just because... I don't know. If I attack you, you don't actually get support from them. Yes, yeah, so you don't get support from them. Now I can not attack. Oh, no, I can. There we go. And we'll just all resolve that. There we go. We worked that out. Took a, one or two brain cells, but we worked out how to... Uh, Take the settlement before the boy did. There we go, we're another settlement up. Sort out that food problem. Actually, that's not sorted out that food problem. That's, if anything, made it a lot worse. Um, I'm going to convert this to a, a field. Which one's better for food? That one's definitely better for food. That's really not helped the food situation out. Um, I'm going to just pull my guy out of here. What's the... Uh, it's not too bad. They are going to prefer me being outside of it than being in it. That's really not helped the food problem. I don't know why that, that that's the case, but... It's not great. Not great at all. Um, what are all these? Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to go for... Hmm. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is still my king. I need to really look further down and see what we have to offer. I kind of want to go with... Hmm. Don't know. Maybe Commander of Men seems pretty good because then, like the ones after, you can certainly damage the morale and stuff. That's always handy. 
Um, this has got to possibly go because we can't have this for food. Um, I would obviously like to keep it, but our economy is doing just fine. I'm going to knock that down, bring the food shortage down ever so slightly. Um, and I'm going to then send this guy, well, all the way back down here. Oh, or over here. I don't, like I said, I don't really want to go off to Germany, but I've not really got where any, anywhere else to expand. And I don't, well, actually, let's get this guy to attack him first. Let's, let's attack the supplies. And he failed. Excellent. Obviously, you're just brilliant at your job, but you level up for failing. So I can't complain, apparently. What an idiot. <laughs> we'll give him a critical... He's uh, got a better chance in critical... Well, just doing anything now. It'd be critically a lot better. Evan uh, evading their enemies? Yep, do that one. You've also got something. I'm going to... Hmm, I don't know. Well, the thing is... Uh, I don't know whether I'd rather... Food problem's more of a problem than... Uh, yeah, that's already put it down to five, so that's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, let's see, let's put, what can we do with you, what can we do with you? Let's give you dried heart, and then let's give you that one, and then let's give you, I'll give you military logistics again, so I guess it helps with upkeep, and you got another one, okay, have replenishment, because I imagine this army will eventually see combat, and we'll need some, uh, we'll need some sort of things, I guess, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to have to sort my food problem. If anyone can please let me know, please do. Um, it will be very, very key. Um, I'm probably going to see if there's any diplomacy we can do. Well, we can now see all these guys down here. And these guys hated the UI as well, and they'd have trade for a price. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's very high. Wow. That's very high as well. Surely not. They, wow, they just gave me three grand. They clearly, they really clearly wanted everything. Can I just keep demanding money off you? Nah, that's moderate. Yeah, I didn't think that would be, didn't think that would be the case, but let's see how much money we could get out of you then. 1,800? Yeah, I'll take that. I probably should have seen if I could get any more, but hey. Well, we're making a lot of friends, it would seem. Oh, we could get a defensive alliance with these guys. 1,500? No, that's, I've probably to taken all their money now. Uh, no, I will just take that for free then. Military alliance? No, not yet. Well, that's fine. Look at that. We're already like friends of just about everyone to the east now. We don't need to worry about that. We are kind of cutting off the places we can expand. It will probably be up here next against the Frisians. Take their fish for ourselves. And uh, yeah, that will probably be it. I mean, we need to sort out this food problem. I'm really not sure how we're going to be able to do that. Um, apparently, we're benefiting from a food surplus. I can't see where that is, but... Um, I guess we will in a minute. We're going to make some more food in about five turn, in a three turns time apparently, but I'm not really sure. I don't know whether I'm going to have to add some mods just to like increase food production. I'm really not sure what the problem is. But we'll make this the final end turn and we'll see what happens in this, well, in this turn. It looked like the, um, whatever faction this is, the Rugars or something, are about to attack Alibu. So I presume um, this faction is about to die, whoever they are. And they want military access. And they want some money. Yeah, I will give the military access for now. Uh, well, yeah, they need it just to get through back through their lands, I presume. They killed that other army off, uh, the Ubi, so that's good. Um, I guess... Oh, my food might be down so much because there's armies in my land. I wonder if they suck up the food. They may do. That might be the case. Either way, we need to sort out our food, like, ASAP. There is a lot, a lot of food problems in our in our kingdom. We're not quite an empire. We'll never be an empire, I guess, because we're tribal. Can you have tribal empires? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know of any. There we go. The uh, already public order is sorting itself out. It's down to minus four. There we go. Uh, we're now at zero food, so that's good. So I'm guessing it's probably got something to do with all these boy armies, probably in my in my land. That's the reason. Um, also, this um, probably did not help, but I don't need a uh, level 2 just yet. Um, but I would like to get this final one so we can get plus 3 food from Tribal Economy. That would be very handy. I'm friends with these guys, so that's fine. don't need to see what they're doing. Apparently, I should, well, I should be able to see what they're doing because of trade. 
Should be able to see. And they're giving me metal. Um, what I really should be looking at my victory conditions. What I need. I hold Germany. I hold back to Germany though. Hold at least. Oh, hold at least one settlement. Okay. I do. I hold at least one. Give me my reward. Give me my reward. I guess I may. Maybe I had it. Um, tribal cooperation, forward defensive or military alliance with those guys. Okay. Be at war with them. Okay, I can do that. Active missions. Or ultimate objectives. Here we go. Sorry. I am... Um, well, I don't hold any of these yet. But we're working on it. Uh, yeah, I actually don't need to take any of these places that I need to. But it's the good uh, starting spots for expanding. I would like to certainly improve my relations with um, the Antrobats. Uh, because, well... Them, they are like my clan. They are like my my blood. My blood. Um, I'll give them money. Not that much. Wow, it goes straight up to three thousand from nine hundred. That can't be right. Uh, offer forty-two hundred. There we go. Okay, I've got that. That's fine. That's a good start. Um, I can now see the Iceni who are also at war with these chaps. Um, I presume that's probably got me some sort of. Up oh, here we go. There we go. I'll come in, I guess, next turn. Um, that money, and then I'm gonna move my spy. I don't know. Oh, they have a resource. Do they have food? Oh, I think they have food, don't they? And they have a second settlement. I'm going after these guys. I know we are trading with them, but this is—I've got to take these guys out. These are guys have got to go. Um, I don't know why I'm starving though. Do we have the plague here? Do we have plague? Oh, we do have plague. Brilliant. Two turns of plague. Can't have enough plague in this. You know, you just need more plague. More plague is always needed. Um, what do we got with these guys? They're at war with quite a few factions. The Alvani. It'd be nice to get something with them. Moderate. No. With Steph. What have I got with these guys? I'm trading. And I have non aggression. Hmm. Uh, oh, here we go. We found all of these guys over here as well. We found a confederation of sorts. Well, of, not of sorts. Very much. And, okay, these Germans really hate me. That's fine. Not everyone will like me. And, yeah, that's becoming very clear all of a sudden. <laughs> no one wants to make friends with me. But, yeah, these guys got to go then, it would seem. Um, they are actually invading south. Um, they could be the first big faction we go after. Um, I'm going to move onto their border for now. Yeah, that does actually do damage to our food. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that just yet. Ah, that's annoying. Two more turns. Um, well, anyway, we'll sort out our food problems in the next episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, 